So we don't have long to talk about um, how Tom Aspinall stopped Sergei Pavlovich um, in round number one. As you can see there, um, he was caught with it looked like a left hook. And then uh, actually it was a jab to the chest. Here, let's go watch it in slow motion. He hit him. So you can't see it from this angle, but you see him come in with a faint jab right there to the chest. Boom. But then he comes over with the right hand on the top of the temple. That was the first one. Now, he was already out on his feet right there. Now, you see he's dancing a little bit, break dancing. Then he hits him with the other one. And this is the one that puts him down, puts him to sleep. Now, Aspinall is the uh, UFC uh, interim champion. He'll likely be elevated to full champion because John Jones has been injured. Um, UFC 295 is tonight. He was supposed to be taken, excuse me, John Jones was supposed to be taken on Stipe Milicic, who's in the crowd, by the way, for the uh, championship. They've been trying to build this fight for a long time outside of the uh, Nganu fight. Um, but uh, John Jones has been injured. Uh, we don't know when he's going to be back. According to uh, the commentary, it's looking like he's going to be out for some time. By the way, I am T-Street Controversy with Fight View 360. Um, I didn't even really plan on covering this tonight, but I was like, you know what? All right. I don't got nothing else to do. And plus, boxing has been pretty dry. So let's just get to the nitty gritty. Do I think he can beat John Jones? What's going to happen when John Jones tanks he down? Now I was now I was my concern for John Jones when he fought Cyril Gaon is Cyril Gaon is a what six foot four, two hundred and forty pounds. What's his weight? Um, John Jones moving up to heavyweight, and I was like, hmm, how is he going to be able to deal with these guys who are so used? to fighting bigger fighters and having the weight 6'4", 248 pounds is what, he, what he's listed as. And the fact that John Jones was able to control him the way he did, the way he did and then stop him or um, uh, make him tap, I'm not sure that Aspinall, even though he's fast, very fast for a 6'6", six six, how tall is he? He's about 250, 60 pounds, 6'5", 252 pounds is what, she's, uh, uh, what he listed at. I'm not ready to say he could beat John Jones. So looking at the rankings, here's the way it's supposed to go. John Jones is going to fight Stipe. That's going to happen. Whenever he comes back, we don't know if Stipe is going to take an interim fight. If Stipe takes an interim fight, who is it going to be? You think they would give him like a, it's not going to be a light touch. You think they would do, um, um, you think they would do this right here? Get to do this right here. Volkov, because see, here's the way I'm looking at it. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Espinal is now the interim champion. Now, in a perfect world, you would have John Jones take on Stipe. The winner of that would take on now Espinal since he beat uh, 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 Pavlovich. Hmm. And then you have gone right there as well. So I'm thinking, do they do the Pavlovich too? Or does Stipe come back and face Aspinall? Or do they do Aspinall gone? Or Stipe? It's, it's so many different ways you can go there. So right now, I'm not claiming to be no UFC pro or my bot. Uh, um, the main event in the ring. I'm not claiming to be a UFC mixed martial arts pro, but there's so many different ways you can go there. Even with Curtis Blades with the top six right there. But in a perfect world for me, since John Jones is injured, inj let's say he's not going to be back until next September, October, November, but he's out. We would have Aspinall versus Stipe. Another fight has to be mixed in there. Then the winner of that fight's gone. Depending on what Pavlovich wants to do, does he go back and kind of restart a little bit, but not too far in the trough? Maybe fights, you know, did he fight? Um, let me look at this. My bad. I'm missing some things. No, he, yeah, he did. I did. I covered that fight. Before Blaze, that was earlier this year, 
So does he fight Volkov? I don't know. It's I mean, honestly, the heavyweight division in the UFC, you got at least two years of fights right there alone in the top six. So, um, but overall, Aspinall, you know, I like him. Uh, especially I'm all I've always been a fan of uh, uh, uh strikers and boxers, you know, kickboxers in mixed martial arts. I'm not ready to say right now he beats John Jones. I'm just not there yet. I'm just not there yet. He's got the fast hands. He's got the height. He's got the size. I'm just not there yet. Um, take your time out. Like the video. Subscribe. I am T-Street Controversy with uh, 5U360. On to the main event.